Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to write a logistic model for a set of data. So we have uh, the population of the United States uh, for different years, 1970, 1980, etc. And what we need to do first is we're going to need to create a scatter plot. So 0 would represent 1970, 10 would represent 1980, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start. So we're going to put 0 to a 9.5. Our next point would be 1980, which is 10, and the population is, was 229.5 million. And our next value is going to be 20, and the population is 252.1. And continuing with this, 30, 281, 1.7. Next point is going to be 40 for 2010 and 309. And our last point is going to be 50 for 2020 and population 331 million. Okay, so to construct a logistic model, what we need to do is right here, we're going to start typing fit and we're going to look for a logistic, fit logistic right here. And then we're going to enter our points. A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm going to press enter. So first of all, we got the logistic model right here. This is its equation. And the number that's on top, 690.94, this is the limiting capacity of this logistic model. So we're going to write that number right here. So 690.94 million. That means that according to the logistic model, this is going to be the maximum value that's possible. Okay. So our next question is to use the model to predict the population in 2030. 2030 is 60 years after 1970. So our function f right here, logistic, we're going to enter f of 60. Not like that, of course f of 60 and that's going to give us 359.27 million so we can enter this value right here it's going to be 300 359.27 million remember this represents millions of people okay our last question is when will the population reach 400 million according to the model so before we answer this, we're going to need to do one thing. We're going to type a line y equals 400, which will give us that threshold. And what we need to do now is find the intersection of the two graphs, the line and the curve. And for that, all you need to do is start typing intersect. And you choose the very first one that says object, object. And we're going to need to tell which two functions we're trying to intersect. So we have our function f right here. And we also have our line G. So we're going to enter this line for our second object. And after we do that, do that. And after that, it's going to give us what the intersection is. So the intersection here happened to be at about 75.48 years. So we're going to round it up to 76. So about 76 years after 1970. So that would be year 2046, right? So you can say here it's going to be about 2046, okay, and that's all.